What's up guys, it's my dear and I'm bringing you a new video today on how to easily get the diamond slash gold uh, combat knife. I'm, I'm saying that because basically you need all the secondary weapons gold to be able to get the diamond knife. So basically I'm only showing you how to get the gold combat knife really. Um, but it's really hard one to do in Black Ops 4 because the the mechanisms of the knife are really clunky, so even the gameplay in the background isn't going to be great, so I apologize for that. But I'm going to give you some tips on how you can easily achieve the um, challenges that you need to do to get the gold knife. Um, and basically the best setup you, you want to be using to achieve most kills with the knife and most success in getting the gold knife quick. So I'll put on screen the uh, setup I've been using, which I find most success with. And that is a combat knife with the gear being acoustic sensor. Then having a uh, tap mask on, so nine bangs don't affect you. Having lightweight and cold blooded on, so skull streaks don't kill you when you're on blood faces or you know going on a street moving across the map. Lightweight till you get across the map just a bit quicker. And then dead silence and tracker, which you can swap tracker out for ghost. And then obviously having the um, equipment as the specialist issue equipment. So. Tracker's helpful because you can see where enemies have gone. You can use Ghost instead if you don't have Tracker unlocked because that keeps you off a of UAV, but it's not that effective in this game. You have to be running full sprint, so as soon as you stop sprinting, you'll show on the UAV. Um, the Talents is an obvious one, the acoustic sensor, just so you can sort of sound hold enemies uh, and that will help you get more kills and uh, so on. So, going on to the uh, challenges that you need to do, there's a the performance of a technical. For the performance challenges, what you need to be doing is getting 200 kills with the combat knife. Not headshots, no different medals, just 200 straight up basic kills with the knife. You can probably do this within Domination or Team Deathmatch, anything where... I'd say Domination is better because you can sort of know where the enemy is going to be coming from uh, because they're going for the objectives such as the flags and the spawns are a lot easier to manage than Domination. You, they won't flip as easy. So get 200 kills, probably take around 10 games if you're getting, you know, 20 kills average a game. Um, that, that's about it really. Uh, then you get onto the technical challenges. These are a bit more difficult and I'll go through these now. So before the technical challenges, what you need to do is you need to get 10 backstab medals, which is basically stabbing someone in the back. That'll happen naturally doing the other challenges. You need to get five survivor medals which is basically kill someone which has just damaged you so let's say you're running at someone head on they get two shots into you and then you kill them that's a survivor medal because you survived their bullets and their damage but still killed them um, you need to get five revenge medals which is killing someone who's just killed you again it'll happen naturally just keep going around stabbing people uh, domination and team deathmatch probably best for this now the awkward ones come Kill five enemies using their own weapon after killing them with the combat knife. So basically you need to go stab an enemy, pick up their gun, camp around and wait to see if they'll come and try and find you to kill them again, because that's what happens naturally in Call of Duty, you try and kill the guy who just killed you. Um, so move around a bit and wait for them to come back, try and kill them with their own weapon. It's easier in Domination because you can just sort of spot out the specialist, because there's only one specialist per team, if that makes sense. So, if you kill the Ajax, you can then wait for the Ajax to come back and kill him with his own weapon. And then you've got the Bloodthirsty Medals, which is, again, awkward. For this, you just want to sort of use the flanks of the map, which you want to be doing using the knife anyway. Play an area, sort of like a building, and just try and wait for Bloodthirsties to come to you. Try and get... Don't go from 1 to 5, camping it out. Try and get two to three kills quickly, and then camp out the um, second or last kills to get the bloodthirsty medals, and you'll have a lot more fun doing it this way and not getting stressed. Now, moving on to the final tips, really, is what special issue you guys should be using. Many people have used Ajax and um, Profit for this because of the Seeker Mine and the Nine Bang. I personally preferred using Ruin because he's a grapple gun. The recharge chain is extremely low in this case, so you can use it loads of times in a match. It's extremely effective at getting close to someone if you see someone in the distance, or just getting into the action without getting killed, and keep, you know, going around and rotating around the map. Um, you also get his um, gravity hammer, which can help in situations, because if you get 7 kills in a life, let's say you get 3 kills, 
have to get a double kill of the gravity armor and then get another two kills that counts as the blood thirsty if all the other five kills are from a knife and also going back to the other challenge where picking up someone else's weapon after stabbing them and then shooting them if you shoot the same guy three times after picking up his weapon in the same life that does count as three times um, so that's really useful as well so there are all the tips I've got for you guys anyway hopefully this does help you get the gold knife really easily and then the diamond camo and uh, if it did please leave a like and a comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one peace